Happening right now, Chula Vista City Council is considering a new tenant protection ordinance that would go further than state law and help fight against no fault evictions. It is a decision expected to have a major impact on the rental housing market. Fox 5's Kasha Gorgic is live for us in Chula Vista, where a meeting has been going on for hours now. Kasha, what's the latest? Hey, good evening, Kathleen. Well, right now at around 11 o'clock, we are finally getting to council members' discussion and their input on this proposed ordinance. But tonight, more than 50 people signed up to speak, make their case to council members on how they feel about this ordinance. And it's been two very different arguments from tenants and landlords. Fight, fight, fight. Housing is a human right. We're low income. So, where are we going to go? I got two weeks. Both my, my other neighbors here. I've been at this residence 17 years. There's been no study. There's no data to support that there have been issues that would require additional regulation on top of the state regulation. As Chula Vista City Council considers a tenant protection ordinance, people feel passionately that it should or should not go into place. And we're both being evicted just because of the no cost and they want to renovate. We're good tenants, we're not problem makers, and we're here asking for help. The ordinance would address no fault evictions related to substantial remodel, removal of a property from the rental market, and harassment or retaliation by landlords. Probably the most egregious is the requirement for a substantial remodel that would require significant relocation costs and in excess of what the state requires currently. And the problem with that is the formula they've come up with doesn't reflect what a tenant pays currently. It's based on what you would pay on the open market. Landlords have argued property owners will be less motivated to rent under the ordinance and there would be fewer rental properties available. Tenants rights groups have recently amped up their requests for stronger renter protections after complaints of increasing evictions, particularly in the Chula Vista area. No one should be evicted in order for the landlord or new landlord to make more money. There is good landlords out there. I have nothing against them. But unfortunately, because there is bad ones, ordinance like this have to be put in place. And at this, at this hour, we can share that it is likely there will not be a vote on this ordinance this evening. The latest word from the mayor is a suggestion to postpone this discussion to another meeting because there is one council member who couldn't be here this evening. So in order to properly weigh all of their options, which includes not only this ordinance, but also a temporary 90-day moratorium on uh, no-fault eviction. So there is another option at play here and in order to again properly assess the options and have a more thorough discussion with everyone here, uh, all five council members, the mayor is suggesting a possible extension on this topic. So right now, uh, council members are still discussing things. That vote and that decision has not been made final to extend this discussion, but it is certainly looking like it will go that way. So we may be here again uh, before we can report a final decision on this um, ordinance. Reporting live in Chula Vista tonight, Kasha Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News.